There's that old lady dog. She get in the bath. The old lady dog did it. Oh, she's nine. The old lady dog. I'd like to do a little short video about trusting the Lord. Um, the Lord wants us to trust Him. That is the main thing, is our trust and having faith. Jesus said, had that parable about the uh, unjust judge, and a woman came to him to have him uh, determine her case and, and uh, avenge her of her adversary. And the just judge, the unjust judge said, because I fear not God nor man, but yet this woman is going to keep pestering me, I might lose my mind, so I'm going to answer her. And then Jesus said, how much more will God, who is just, avenge his saints and take care of the thing that needs to be taken care of? So we know that the Lord is concerned about our plight and about what's going on here. The main thing is that this is a trick. No, my show dog. He thinks I'm going to shine light on the ground so that he can uh, chase the light. Anyway, he said, how much more would, will God, who is just, the Father who is just, shh, answer us. So we know that he cares. And he said, but yet will the Son of God find faith when he gets here? Will Jesus find faith? And that means this daring to believe. And I had a dream about this trick. Stop it. I had a dream about three nights ago. Pastor Patrick's been talking about this also, about daring to have faith. I had a dream that uh, I was in a house and there was some a woman and some child in there, maybe, maybe a couple of women, I'm not sure. Anyway, I saw some people in there and some children and flood water started coming in to the house. First it was like an inch, then it got to be three inches and I thought, man, I'm gonna have to do something about this. So I walked up the stairs and I got outside of the house onto the rooftop and uh, it was nighttime and there was a uh, full moon out and behind the house was a huge rock like the dome of the rock that's at uh, Yosemite and it was the sunlight the moonlight was shining on it and this rock was bulging from the water that was behind it and it was about to break and I began to pray and then um, in my spirit, I heard, you need to pray with boldness to believe, to have faith. You need to work that up inside yourself, to dare to believe God, to bold, boldly come to his throne so that he will hold back those flood waters. So I began to pray even more earnestly. And so I think that means that, you know, we need to have faith in our walk with the Lord. I know that many of you are looking for the rapture to occur, and it hasn't occurred when you thought it would and the same thing with me you know but we don't know exactly what the time or the hour will be. we can look at the signs and what Christ has said what would be the signs of the second coming and uh, we can know by what he said to us in our dreams because the Bible says that he speaks to man yea once yea twice in a dream he speaks to him and man perceives it not see he speaks to us in in uh, dark sayings. He doesn't talk to us like he does Moses. We can seek that. If you read about Moses, when Moses and uh, Aaron and Miriam were having that argument, the Lord told Aaron and Miriam, I speak to Moses as a friend. I speak to him face to face. I don't hide anything from him. So we can seek that. We can look for that. But we have to have faith. The Lord says he's going to come when the world thinks it not. When they're marrying and giving in marriage so you know I would like you guys to take this to heart and to um, think about what the Lord is saying to you and to study his word and to stay in prayer because he is going to come like that Noah preached for 120 years as he built the ark as a sign to them he was building this ark with his faith that the Lord was going to flood the earth and they laughed and mocked to him until the day that the doors of the ark were closed said then the flood came and they and they were all swept away so look for that 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 is how it's going to be we know that we're in the season maybe that's what these dreams meant 
you know, that we are in the season of His coming. So I want to encourage each and every one of you to seek the Lord, maybe to fast and pray a little bit, to ask Him to open His Word to you. And um, have faith, most of all. Have faith. That's what it takes, faith to believe that He is going to fulfill His Word in us. And I want to say God bless each and every one of you. And I'm praying for those of you that have asked me to pray for you. And I, and I ask that you continue to pray for me. I'm just like you guys are. Uh, you know, I'm struggling the same way. And I know the Lord is coming. Look at what's going on on the Internet as far as Debka file and, and uh, extinction protocol. The Lord is going to come. They are getting close. India uh, was invaded by China. And now they're talking about doing something about that. There are 20,000 troops on the Syrian border. So the Lord is coming. Just stay in prayer. Keep praying for your loved ones. And dear Heavenly Father, I ask that you bless each and every one of these people that are watching this and that you lighten this to their heart, that they can understand this, put light in it so they can understand it. If anybody has any interpretation of what you think the Lord will show me in this dream, please give it to me. God bless you. Amen.